I have no idea. Uh, but I already see I have from back to game. Uh, so the connection is not enough, maybe. And I have no idea how Twitch works. This is the first time I'm using Twitch. And I would like to. I'm just playing around with it. This is my first try with Twitch. I never used it before. So if someone is already here and has no idea, which probably not, it's not the best idea, I guess. How to um Oh, let's see if we can get some visitors. I have no ideas. Um, first, first try. So, um, I know that I have no viewers yet. That's okay. And I have no idea about the audio quality or something else. So if someone is there, please write in the chat if you can hear me. And I switch to the head and over camera. Right, like this. So today, um, this is more like a test for Twitch as a streaming um, service. Because in the past I have had problems with YouTube with drop frames a lot and the quality was not so good. So I'm decided I will try Twitch. But before I do a really great project that is right here, it will be a clock, a clock kit with a lot of SMP parts. And to show you this, I am trying to use a third camera. So I switch there. There's the third camera. And this is an handheld camera. Oh yeah, you can see what it's doing. So this is another nice kit, but this took maybe about one or two hours to build. And it is too valuable to just play around with it. So for this stream, for this test stream, I have no idea if it works or what, <laughs> how it looked like. Um, we will build something, or I will build something very, very cheap. Um, I got for less than one euro each kit. So if the stream doesn't work, if the kit doesn't work, it doesn't matter. But this I will keep for the better stream um, if this works. Otherwise, I will stream with my YouTube account. So I have to switch back to the at an overcam. Now this is I'm still using OBS to to do to do those things. Um, yeah, still no one there. Oh. <clears throat> no viewers at the moment. So 
and I have no idea how to promote Twitch channels. On YouTube I already have 1,700 subscribers here. I have nothing, but it doesn't matter. So what we will build today. Um, let me zoom in. Ah, still have to. That is the crate on this software I'm using. Uh, by the way, I'm using only smartphones as cameras. And so the picture quality is not bad. Yeah, if this is a kit. Um, it's an LED chasing light. 10 channels. Very, very easy one. Even with no schematics. But I could paint them. No, not yet. Um, you have the CD4017 and very well known CMOS. Uh, it's an um, counter, like a counter. So it has, I think, 10 channels. And I guess it's an NE555 as a timer. As a timer, as in. Something that gives pulses. Then we have some resistors, of course, for the LEDs. We have more resistors for something else. I really need to check the values and uh, my view is not the best. Two capacitors and two different resistors. Yeah, why not? There are no one there. <laughs> Doesn't matter. So, and this is only for test, okay? So if no one watches, it's okay. And we have a potentiometer or trimmer to adjust the speed of the chasing light. I know it's a very, very simple kit. Maybe too simple, but for this test, it's okay. And we have 10 little red LEDs. And this kit was, I ordered 20 of them a long time ago. It was less than one euro for each kit. So I should clean the board a little bit. Um, it's laying around out a long time and then it doesn't accept the solar circle. And for cleaning, of course, I'll use some IPA. Yeah, finally, I got new bottles of IPA for, no, for a reasonable price. Um, thanks to human malware, it was not easy to buy IPA. Uh, very terrible for electronic people who need IPA for so many stuff. So um, yeah, the quality of the PCB is okay, but, but because of laying around for a while, it really, really um, was not very shiny. So yeah, let me see if I can get a little bit better focus, maybe like this. Um, I use the standard solar, nothing special. And flux. So. It is a little bit boring to solder something easy like this, but oh my Jesus. A little bit dirty. Also. Okay, that's okay. Can clean that up with IPA. Need to be careful that I don't stick it that I don't stick it to my finger. Oh, could be could hurt a little bit. So more light. Ooh. That I don't understand why it starts to flicker now here. Because this is an inner uh, a standard uh, halogen light. It should not do any flicker. But is doing flicker. Oh, yeah. And then follow one viewer. And that's myself, I guess. <laughs> um there's still you can really see the flicker also here. Um uh, I think I will zoom out. Looks a little bit. Not the best quality. So, that is much better, to be honest. Oh. I think it's okay. When I do soldering, I'm going to the other cam. 
And maybe should I should try this. So my idea is that I put it like this. I need something to hold the cam. Otherwise, there's too many things in the way to solder. Um, Don't worry, I know what I'm doing most of the time. Ooh. Focus. Hmm. Can I do soldering like this? Ooh. <laughs> More light. Too feel light. Oh, thanks. Oh, that is, I think that's a good distance. Oh, doesn't look too bad. On this screen. Um, grab you. Um, where there? Los, kommt auf Twitch, Leute. Uh. Okay. Heat the iron. I have no idea if this works or not. Um, I like the picture quality, but I have not many distance to do my soldering. Maybe I should really get something more professional to do this. Or I need to I don't need professional stuff. I do it myself. Okay, let's see. Focus. Zoom in. I think it's still not bad. It's an easy kit. Okay, for the kit tomorrow, I won't do it like this. But for this one, let me see. I always start with the resistors, so it should be very easy. Put some flux, get the first resistor, resistor down here. Don't believe I switch on the light of the phone. Oh. I have no idea to be honest. So, as always, uh, with this SMD components or their surface mount devices, um, I always do the same. I'm not using solar paste or on um, the other method. Oh, I think now my hand is on the way. Oh, maybe like this I can. So I put solar on one pad and I have parts or and I have components with two pads like this and then just um, get the component I really just want to be closer um, ooh. that doesn't look so bad the problem only is that I'm really restrict, restricted with space a lot. So, and I need to spin solar. Um, 
the space is not so good here. So Yeah, sorry, it's it's a test. <laughs> I want to see how it works and I really want to test the um streaming quality on Twitch. So again, add some solder on one pad. Crap the part with your tweezers. Maybe I should do it without ten coffees. So you can still oh this looks like a good angle. Uh oh <laughs> even on the screen it's larger than on real. Oh and you see it tends to go where it want to go. If I'm not so pity it pity, it would be very easy. So I just put a little bit flux on every on every pin. Yeah, on every on every pad. So in the right angle, really use it as a magnifying glass here. So now I just go all through all the ten pads on this side. To prepare for the resistors, and I should put my resistors somewhere where I can see them. As Dave Jones say, the tongue at the right angle. The height on the the hands on the wrong angle. So it's not. It's not difficult to be honest. Okay. For an easy kit like this, it is with, with a lot of spacing. It doesn't matter my uh, how I hold it. Um, usually, I really like to be closer with my nose to the parts, or bringing it to the perfect angle, so it's easier to solder. but with this really easy kit so i put the heat on the pad and the solar first and then i place the part then yeah. to be honest it doesn't look perfect i really don't enjoy the look of it at now but it's the best i can do under the this circumstances because to be honest it's not easy to solder in this position but for the no viewers i have no viewers still uh, at youtube i, st I could get uh, some viewers at least um but i also will try to upload this video to youtube of course and i think i miss <laughs> i missed one of the resistors no i see it already uh, they are quite small because it's it's SMD, and now I have to... There is the last one. Um, let me... Ugh. Okay. It's there. So... Yes, I'm not Louis Rossmann with fancy with a fancy scope, um, scope with a fancy magnifying glass. I do it with the phones you don't like. I'm doing it with an iPhone here. The overhead cam is in Huawei, the Huawei. And the face cam is in Samsung. Um, both of them are, both two of them, company phones. 
and I need to set up my soldering station. It goes to sleep way too fast. So after I fixed, after I attached one side to the solar joints or to the pads, one part of the resistor, I'm going to solder the other side. Um, I could use hot air later on it. So if I blow with hot air on it, the solder will melt and then the components will um, slide into a better position. But for this easy kit, it's okay. Doesn't matter. Doesn't need more effort. So let's go through it. Oh, that's quite easy. Um, yes, I know I should use a fume extractor, but I'm over 40. I use soldering. I'm soldering my whole life. I'm not, that is, that's not true. It's a hobby. And I never use, oh, <laughs> didn't show you the rest of it. Maybe I... Should try the things with the hot air. No. So uh, next part. The there are two more resistors and two K and something that looks like an maybe one hundred K. So I get them out of the package. And it should be very easy to identify which one is which. And they provide you a little bit additionals. So you need one and you get two. That's nice. Mm. Well, let me see if this thing is useful. Wow. 103. Yeah. It is 10 and 10K. So, but the 10K is in the middle. I want to get 2K. This should be, should be this. So, let me see. Turn, yeah. So, again, using flux. Yeah. For me, this is, I should show you. I really like this. No, that is not bad. Some, still some, no viewers. Oh, okay. <laughs> so, and the same then on the other part. Just add some solder to one side. Oh, I have to. Then hmm, this is a nice placement. <laughs> then the next one is R three with the ten K. Oh, sorry, I moved the cam. I hit the cam. Therefore, that I have no microscope. I think it's not the worst. At the moment, I'm really looking on the on the iPhone screen than on the board itself. This software has really okay. This software is uh, called Epoch Cam, and it streams to a software on the laptop, also Epoch Cam called. And so, um, can use them as cameras for streaming. That's very nice. And in this case. The second use is, it's like a little microscope. And because I'm getting older, it's not bad to have a microscope. Okay, now I really have to go to find a good angle always. Here I have no good angle on the hand. This part. But it's reasonable enough. 
and there is another capacitor c2 one microfarad i guess there one microfarad i didn't check it and the capacitor has no marking so it's not the easiest Oh, that is not also not bad. Yeah, you see, when I say I'm doing it live, I'm really doing it live. And some things I'm doing live, I'm doing for the first time, like soldering under the camera. But hey, it's for fun, nothing else. So, and again, standard way how to solder, apply the heat to the pad, to the component, and then at the solder, wait for a second and remove it. Um, yeah, in my eyes, it doesn't look perfect, but it's okay. So, that is an easy build. Next part, we get our most favorite chip, the NE555 or the NE555 or whatever you want to call it. Um, yeah, Ooh. this is old, really old one, but still very useful. And even this is just for fun and some plugs. could explain what flux do but my guess is people who are watching me know what flux is except my co-workers um it helps solder very easy so what else um we can still see on the silk screen the little notch here and this has the correspondent on correspondent übereinstimmen with the in this case, a dot on the a dot on the chip. Otherwise, if I put it in a different direction, it would be wrong and the chip will explode. I know some of you want to see it explode, but not in this video. Maybe in the next video. So, um, I have to do the same. I will. Uh, I will put a little amount on so of solder to one pin. Then the NE555 has eight pins. So you have to align eight pins. And to be honest, on this camera, on this camera, not microscope, it is not too bad to align. Uh, also not easy. And it's not aligned very well. And uh, now I have really to think about how I can it should be okay. Stop. Stop. But this eight pin chips with this large um, spaces between the legs, it's uh, so easy. So I don't like the solo on the big spool. Uh, half hour already and no viewers. Hey, Leute. Uh, egal. What's that? La 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 la. I have no idea what's happening. Um. And to be honest, I have no idea how to how to enjoy uh, invite someone to stream uh, twitch and i have no idea if it is really working or not but it says i have good connection that is something i never get in youtube <clears throat> so if this work and if i can download what i'm doing here later on then uh oh i forgot i forgot was one Mm, that would be finding mistakes later. So um, go back to the NE555 timer 
and see which is the best way to hold but i think like this so on oh i do track soldering track soldering i just put some solder on it very messy for the beginning and then just track it along the side and also this side and really with this small ICs it is really really easy to do SMD soldering so now let's see um, going to U2 <clears throat> U2, the CD4B17, but I think it's a 4017. Um, this is a 10, not binary counter. It's an, it's a 10, 1 to 0 to 9 or 10, 1 to 0 um, counter. It just counts up and switch to 1 to 10. Um, you can see it later if it works. You will see what it's doing. And I think you can cascade it so you can put more in a row. So, again, getting some flux. By the way, this is not MTech flux because I have no way to find it. This is from MG. This also camera. Who thinks this camera is the best? The it's MG Chemicals. MG Chemicals. So. And again, I really like this setup, not bad. But I think it's on the head. So, getting a little bit solder on one leg. Bad. Not leg. Then, look for the silk screen, the, this thing. Get a chip. Look where the chip has the, the dot or the notch. I already found it. Already not bad in alignment. And here comes the part where I really wish I have more place. But still, these parts are so large. It is very, very easy. The trick is to get one leg in a good alignment. I'm getting one leg good aligned on one side. Then check your alignment and I guess this is spot on. Hope you can see it that this is spot on and it's in the right direction. Then as always clean your tip. Keep keep your tip clean and wet. Very important. Good that Mr. Shop is not watching today. So, then attach the other side, the opposite pin, and then the chip doesn't move. And now, again, some easy. But I think for looking at it, how it works, is this is the best. So, I can also go by pin by pin, but you see already that my soldering iron, I'm using a, I'm using my favorite tip. It's a little bit larger, so it has a um, very good thermal mass. So I can do most of the soldering very fast. Can also do with this side of chip, you don't need to do use the track soldering method. But on the cam, it's really not bad. You see already two of it, two of it, and I have still some solar on the tip, so I don't need so much solar. At this one, I had a little bit much solar, so when I trap track my iron in time on the legs, clean it. The last one doesn't want. Uh, that's a bit now, so.
Oh, it's also good to inspect. <laughs> Don't need to use my not very good magnifying glass. This is better to inspect. Um, out of focus, but not the last. This one doesn't look so well. This side has a lot of solar. This has a little bit less of solar. Focus. Yeah, looks looks good for me. So, what else do we need? Get the trimmer part. Oh, next the LEDs. Hmm. LEDs. Oh, these are just normal through hole LEDs. So maybe, maybe I should clean the flux first. Or something. Uh, I'm cleaning this part now. Okay, showing you here uh, because I finished this side of the board. I'm switching to the other side now, so I can clean it. I can clean off the flux. Make a nice clean board. Oh, this is the right. It's in forty seventeen. I know that this is a forty seventeen. So LEDs. Um, this one is not very easy to read, but I see it all now. This is the cathode of the LED or the minus, and this is the plus because this is the sign of the diode. The... Give me a paper. Oh. No one see what happened. It's oh. you have no viewers. So. For everyone who doesn't know, an LED, this is minus, this is plus. Wow, it is really, really making it big. Still no viewers. I have tiny idea. Maybe I have some viewers and I didn't know. I didn't know it. I have no idea. I have OBS. Um, so um we have to close this we have to close this and then bring me there okay it should work i have no idea Oh, I can. Ah. We put it there. So, welcome in chat. Es gibt aber keine Leute im Chat. Benutzer. Only me. <laughs> okay, I'm still working on it. And I think this is not good for your eyes. So, and it's very easy. Cathode is the short leg of the LED. And, and I just put the LEDs in now. And for this, we switch to the. To this cam. What happened here? Someone makes noise, and I have no idea who made noise. Hmm. Yeah, 
So, das kann dann jetzt erstmal, die Kamera kann dann mal kurz zur Seite, sehe gleich der Akku leer. The battery will be empty soon. And I have still have no idea what I'm doing. Okay, so, um, as I say, we could zoom in a little bit. Yeah, well, why it doesn't focus so well? I have no idea if I'm on autofocus or not. So. Groß zu gucken. Auch echt noch ein paar Viewer. So, um. I just drop in the LEDs. Through hole parts. It's almost almost boring soldering through hole components and those things. Um, I don't know which voltage it needs, but I think it's about. I will try it with five. Five is always good. I could just look at the LED uh, at the resistors they use. Um, but hey, don't make it too easy. Now it's the funny part. So, and I want that the LEDs are aligned almost perfect. So I will only solder one leg at, for each LED. Then I will check the alignment and then I will solder the rest of the LEDs, uh, the rest of the other legs. And I need something to hold the board. Oh. Stay in place. Hmm. <laughs> okay, there are good ideas and there are bad ideas. This This was one of the bad ideas. And again, as always, bring heat to the pad and the leg. Check if the soldering iron is heat on. This iron, I really need to check my settings. I think I mess around it if last time and it goes to sleep so fast. Normally I have no problems with this because I'm a fast solderer. But when I'm talking, um, it could happen. <laughs> so, um, therefore, I only solder one leg to the things. Um, I simply don't want to focus at all. So I really I only sold a one leg. I now can heat up the leg and press in the LED. So it should be nicer. Why I don't have autofocus? Oh. Maybe that's why. Could happen. So very easy. Heat it up and adjust the position. And when you only have soldered one leg of the LEDs it is very easy to heat up the one leg and pad and whatever and just 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 adjust the position so the LEDs are in one row, like this, like this, oh, now it works, oh, my fingers are dirty, so, go ahead, 
One, two, three, four. Uh, again, heat the pad, the soldering pad on the PCB and the leg of the component. And then add the solar, wait for a second or two, no, joking, and just remove. Then check. See that we forget one. I forgot one, not you. And looks good. Now to the funny part. Shooting legs through the room. One, two, it doesn't fly. Three, oh, this was good. Four. Let's see, let me find the right angle. Five, six, seven, ooh, eight, nine, ten, eleven, uh, that twelve, thirteen, fifteen, whatever. Uh, These are not good LEDs. The legs doesn't fly so far. Very soft legs. That's why they fly so good. And again, use some IPA. To remove the flux. Oh, there's one I don't like. There. And this one would also not be my, my favorite. So what else do we need? We need some viewers. We don't need another hero. We don't need another, I think way home. No, no, we don't need another. Egal. Sollte aufhören zu singen. Ich kann sehen nicht. Even my name suggests, even my name say that I can sing. I cannot sing. I don't like how it sticks out. Makes no sense. They don't like how it sticks out. So I put the. It sieht auch blöd aus. <clears throat> the variable resistor to control the speed of the oscillator. The oscillator is the NE555, the triple five, the famous triple five, like the superhero triple five. And it's almost done. Doesn't fly. So, and they provide also something. No, I should <laughs> go to my OBS. Oh. Sorry. They also provide a header. Do I need a header? Do I need a header? Then I need to make a cable. No. Goes somewhere. <laughs> hmm? Big mess. We need a piece of the red cable. We need the beginning of the black cable. I like when both have the same length. I know that this would happen. I know that this will happen and go there. So then doesn't work as I two. One side, red one, black one. Of course we can use the black for plus and red for minus. 
could happen. Trust me. Last time I killed in Raspberry Pi 4, <laughs> I messed it up. Now it was a 3B. Um, I messed it up and... Yes, now it's... An... Oh, it smells. So... some solar there and just there and there no I need a um, cable for the power supply I guess I will try it with I'll start with five and Let's make a short circuit so I can adjust the apps. Um, for this circuit, everything about, I guess not more than 20 milliamp. Yeah, 20 milliamp. Could not set it up on this. Um, then we go to the other power supply. So five. Five at thirty milliamp should be okay. LED usually take about twenty milliamps, but I guess this in this circuit it even doesn't do this. Um, only one LED is lit. Um, so. Should be totally enough. Yeah, and it's already doing it. So I say this is a very easy kit. Um, I don't go through the information how it works. So here you can adjust the speed of the LEDs and make it faster and slower. So maybe we go back to the maybe we go back to the setup with head and on. Okay, epoch cam stopped. <laughs> epoch cam stopped working. The question is why? Maybe I keep it too long. Oh, no, I have to. Okay. So. Yeah, it's really not bad, the quality of this thing. I should look if I can find a good holder for the iPhone. Um, because I really like how it works. So I don't want to say much about the circuit. And any 555 with the capacitor here, the capacitor, uh, the variable resistor here, the capacitor and the two resistors is just set as a timer, uh, as a um, frequency generator. I guess it is generating an just a square wave. So very easy. Maybe we can use one of this. <laughs> it's my very small oscilloscope here so we can play around a little bit no Siri I don't want to play with you uh, a little bit weird uh, still looks weird and this is really we get this yeah we can use this one I need a pro up So we can just check frequency of this little toy here. Place to get the so um no. Um, 
which should be the most interesting part to check. Um, really running out of fingers should glue this on the somewhere okay so um two ah there's a 10 micro 100 microseconds is huge Okay, it's called a hand cam because I can hold it in my hand. And this my little Danu, it's on the, I'm still on the pin. Look there, I'm on pin number three. And there we have a very stable 43 Hertz. Rechteck, Wave, um, didn't remember the English name for this. Square Wave, Square Wave. We have a very stable Square Wave, Square Wave with about 4.5 volt, maximum and a duty cycle of 54%. Now I'm really losing my hands. I need a third hand. Didn't have a third hand, so oh, we can put you there. And okay, the fastest one is 41 hertz, and then we go even to the slower setting. And now it's again on the head. Hmm. We have seven hertz. I don't know if hertz is watching, so. 7 hertz at 4.5 or about 50. So that's all. Um, I really need to something to hold the phone, but as a hand cam or as something, it even works better. That might make me, oh, I should switch to the camera to the setup. For magnifying as I'm desoldering, it, oh, it even works better than this. So, I learned something today. I have no idea. Idea. I have no idea about the audio quality. Um, taking my little scope out. I have no idea about the picture quality. I have no idea if I can upload this to YouTube, but I will try. And if things work like I like it, I will go online tomorrow with an. Little more, a little bit more challenging. Challenge, challenge. A kit that is a little bit more challenging, not so easy. So, and this, oh, I just want to check if this also runs at 3 volt. Hmm, it do. So then, get in here 2032 from this box of parts. It is about three milliamp. This will run for almost ever. Not really. But it will run for a long time. And I'm doing something you should really not do. No, I'm just using. I'm using some gaffer tape. So. That's okay. So official the stream is ended. Everything I'm doing now is just for fun. It has no educational purpose. It is not dangerous at all. I have no idea what I need this. But it is uh, LEDs. 
Mm. Oh, let me check something. Oh, in the background, you see, it still works. Sorry for everyone. It still works in the background. You see, I have a lot of stuff in the background. So, yeah. Time to clean up. Um, everything works fine. So, that's all for today. The amount of drop frames is by 0.1% with the same connection I always use. Sorry, that was the microphone. Um, so much better than everything I ever, ever get with... I have to press there. I don't think so. Um, much better than everything else I get with YouTube before. So if it works, I will use Twitch in future. Um, when I can upload it to YouTube later, because there I have some viewers at least. Okay, bye bye. See you later. Uh, not later. Um, everyone, wish you good night. And that's all. Yes. I